Hello, so this is like information videos about this truck and uh, what I looked at before deciding on this truck. Also, what kind of document is required to bring the truck into your home state if you're out of state and insurance and registration stuff like that I go over uh, with you later on but right now let's just tell you a little bit about how I come into possession of this truck uh, I looked I went on I went to Chicago I fly over to Chicago look at a uh, couple trucks I looked at actually about 15 trucks and uh, basically what I'm looking at is I test drive the truck and if I like the way the truck runs and I take it to the mechanic, any mechanic in the area, uh, the, the mechanic that have uh, the Volvo diagnostic machines or any truck brand, it doesn't have to be Volvo, let's say I, I'm buying a Kenworth, I have to make sure that the mechanic I'm going to have the Kenworth diagnostic machine my goal is to make sure that there is I get a good picture of the what's going on in the engine with the with the DAF system over all the brain of the truck my, uh, engine to make sure that the regular maintenance the maintenance has been followed by whoever owned the truck before whatever kind of issues they have been experiencing or been fixing uh, it shows up, you know, anytime something breaks down or, or need fixing, it shows up on the computer. Give us the computer uh, code. So, yeah, I went over and looked at also to make sure that the truck have not been in an accident before. I have the mechanic went over under the truck, check the structure of the truck, make sure there is no issues there and also the engine of the truck uh, match to the truck make sure that the engine is the same year as the truck and also the truck is the same year as the engine uh, uh, to avoid any sort of issues there and I go the I go through those things if I notice that there are issues uh, and that is going to require me to spend uh, more than three four thousand dollars to fix I will go on to the next truck so eventually I looked at about 15 or 20 trucks and I land on to this truck this one is uh, 2018 Volvo semi truck uh, the, the model is 860 and the truck looks amazing I mean this is it's, uh, from 2018 the inside looks well kept you know this thing's been running all the time delivering and it looks like the whoever owned this truck have been taken care of very well the inside looks good everything works in here uh, it comes with the fridge so this is the fridge it comes with the fridge it also comes with the free microwave this is like some we were running this truck have the microwave and they just it's free so I took it even though I didn't necessarily like the color and and this is like the the top bunk Let me pull it up yep. and it goes up like that and this right here I think I like about this truck that you can turn this into a table uh, I'll show you I mean a lot of you who know who knows this about this truck probably already know but this thing right here turn into a table there you go so that kind of uh, turn into a table and also you can make it a mattress slip on it like lay this thing down and it's, it's just kind of cool to have and this is like stuff like that and 
can see this kind of uh, and you can do the same thing on this side and then the top bunk this is also like a little mattress on top here and I mean I normally don't climb up there to sleep on the top but uh, sometimes uh, when you driving with other people or other drivers it's good to have two spaces where people can sleep there's also a bunch of spaces here and there's two windows I mean the yeah this is like side windows uh, second one and the same on the other side there's a sunroof when this truck first come out this truck is on my short list of the my favorite truck initially when it comes out this truck is about hundred and fifty thousand dollars so it's, uh, it's, it's crazy price right but I tell you how much I pay for at the end of it too and then show you what it looks like from outside uh, so this is what the truck looked like from outside and so this is some of the things that even though it looks nice you know and it's, they detail it and stuff like that there are some damage the side of the truck existing damage so this is one of those things that are that that I use to discount on the price of the truck they can either fix it if they want me to buy it or they can discount the price and they did discount the price on that and all the tire is new I mean it, it looks decent anyway and overall uh, it looks uh, it looks fine I and mean, there is no issue whatsoever so I checked over everything with the mechanic to make sure there is no structural damage right and the reason why I, I normally prefer a truck that have APU in the back, uh, most of you know that uh, APU is important to have on the truck. It doesn't come with the truck from a manufacturer, but that's what some people put on the truck to make sure that the uh, DUF system is not going to affect with the truck. And it doesn't have that on here, and also I have I would have preferred to have a uh, a deer guard. But all that aside, I like the truck. It's one of my favorite truck, and also I can't walk away from it because the price is so good. You know, uh, these kind of trucks, any any semi truck, uh, if it's either Volvo. Uh, Kenworth or Peterbilt those are luxury trucks they are normally very hard to come by uh, under under 30 or 40 thousand dollar this truck if you google it right now uh, 2018 Volvo 860 uh, you will see that most of their price range lowest probably being 30 and And, and, and most of them are above 40,000 and uh, as you can see uh, there are some it's old trucks and I wasn't really concerned too much I mean, I mean this is bumper damages and this, this kind of stuff I wasn't too concerned about any of that because as long as it looks decent and structurally sound and uh, it's not you know this bumper is easy to fix I and mean, it's seven hundred dollar I can just get the whole bumpers uh, but overall it's, it's excellent shape uh, engine and transmission is excellent and and the price is also uh, I tell you right now for this price uh, I paid uh, less than uh, $19,000.
with this truck and I'm very happy with with the price I know that uh, this truck will be around for maybe if, if, it, if it keeps me rolling and making money for even one year I'll be I'll be satisfied I'll be happy uh, so overall this is what the truck look like it have a sunroof and so the the in you know buying trucks uh, when you buy a truck I tell you how you can get it to your state a lot of this information is not available for uh, regular uh, people even I wasn't able to find it when I was looking for what I would what would I need to bring to drive the truck home after I purchase it from out of state uh, so basically when you purchase a truck you make sure that uh, at first uh, after you check everything and, and, and uh, uh, you decided to purchase make sure the title is clean there is no lien on the title and then call around and get insurance for the bobtail bobtail insurance is just for this truck no no trailers just for this truck once you get the bobtail insurance uh, and then you got you they're gonna you're gonna get a bill of sale from the dealer from the whoever you buy from bill of sale or the title it's the same thing uh, once they, they sign everything over you have the uh, you have the insurance you purchase the insurance and uh, you can just drive home that's what I did I mean I have the insurance uh, the vehicle is it's, I'm gonna register it in my state I'm not gonna uh, register it in, in some other state so I drove the truck from Illinois to Minneapolis uh, most important thing I think is to have insurance on the truck in case of accident and also uh, even if you get pulled over by the police, the, the truck is legally yours, you have the title. And uh, also you have insurance and you have certain days to register the truck. You, know, you have up to a couple of days, so 10 days I think, uh, to in Minnesota to uh, register the truck. So drive home, once you get home, go to the DMV just like you register in a car and tell them you know you give them the title and then the price of whatever amount you pay for uh, and uh, the, they will register the truck in, in uh, the title into your name and then they will give you a plate also and the registration is a little bit different they, because they charge they charge per pound I mean per uh, weight so for me, this is my first time uh, registering a, a truck. I made a big mistake. I'm gonna go back to the DMV and correct it one of these days. But when they ask you uh, how much are you, uh, you, you weigh, uh, don't think about trailer, don't think about loaded trucks. Just think about the, the, the weight of the truck empty. I mean, this is bobtail only. I made a mistake, I was busy and uh, whatever. I told them, uh, I, I give them the trailer uh, weight for some reason. So uh, that, that's how I end up getting charged. Way higher. I, was, I pay about $1,300 just to register the truck. I'm sure it is a mistake uh, uh, that I'm going to correct it. It's a mistake that, uh, that I'm going to correct it, but that's one thing you got to be careful. When you register in a truck, just give them the weight of the truck which is most of the truck is 12,000 pound 12,000 pound that's what they go off of when they charge you it should be it should be under a thousand dollar when you register in the truck so they will give you a plate and they will give you a, a little sticker and that's just registering the truck just like a regular car but you do need Take that information and go to the IRP office. IRP office registration to get a proportional plate is completely different. 
and that is that if you want to do business with the truck pick you know you have to get another uh, plate it's basically called a proportional plate and that plate allows you to pick up a trailer or a pick a load delivery throughout to whatever state any state uh, that you want to go to but once you get all, all that uh, IRP stuff you can do that but in the meantime like in Minnesota right now I apply for the IRP and it's gonna take they told me it's gonna take uh, uh, probably two two months or more in the meantime I, I I'm gonna work within the state and I mean I have the you know uh, I'm, re I'm running under a company that have uh, uh, DOT and already uh, DOT and operating authority uh, MC numbers stuff like that I'm gonna run under them to pick up and deliver local 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 deliveries like, like for uh, Amazon for Walmart for Target or whatever because instead of just sitting here you know, with the empty trucks not making any money I'd be happy even uh, you know working within the within the state of Minnesota making about you know five six thousand uh, dollars a month I could just do that instead of uh, just doing nothing and uh, I am gonna I'm gonna do that because at the end of the day when you register in a truck also you cannot register the truck without insurance so when you get that you have to have that bobtail insurance once you get the bobtail insurance come to the DMV they're gonna ask you for the insurance the title of the truck and then whether you want to register it in your name or in your company name for liability purposes uh, I, I suggest you register the truck under a company name uh, in, in case uh, that's that's what I what I suggest but you do whatever you want so that's that will conclude this video and I intended to kind of make uh, videos traveling around picking up and delivering things in Minnesota while waiting for the IRP plates IRP plates and uh, let's see how much it's possible to make while working in in a in the state within the state normally we know that if we travel around uh, around United States most average right now the market is kind of sucks but uh, normally average is about what eight thousand eight ten thousand a month uh, but of course the expense is gonna eat up half of it probably but uh, within the states you know we'll see I'm gonna uh, document and share the information as well and uh, I encourage you know everybody to try to work for themselves working for a company or, or individuals not gonna you're making them financial wealth you're not gonna be able to uh, be wealthy by uh, be able to manage a large financial uh, ability to make a lot of money if you're working for uh, a company that's what I mean to say uh, I have you no know, I've, I've more I've been motivated uh, to buy and start my own uh, companies by other people I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I've seen I work for many years as a company drivers for many companies including European companies as, uh, and out of uh, many states including Chicago I've seen them I see what they make on papers every you know every every month they make in ten thousand dollar and uh, while I while they while I'm making uh, less than two thousand dollar a week while they making uh, about eight to ten thousand dollar a week I'm not talking about a month so that's the kind of difference you make I know that uh, of course there's gonna be expense that you have to pay to operate the truck uh, insurances uh, 
registrations, diesel and uh, driver's expense, stuff like that. But uh, at the end of the day, especially if you can drive the truck yourself, you don't, you don't have to pay drivers to drive it for you. Uh, it makes a difference, I think. Uh, but we'll, we'll give it a try and see how it goes. I know this, this may not be the right time to to uh, start uh, this kind of venture into logistic. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, this is right. This is what I am in going to do. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Feel free to follow.